Baltimore City voters just received their mail in ballots. Unfortunately, they're from the year 2020. 2020. Mm. Well, the Baltimore City Board of Elections is now trying to figure out how that happened. WMR2 News' Mallory Safase spoke with an election official about this extreme mail delay because if it matters to you, it's a matter for Mallory. Mail-in ballots are supposed to be prioritized, but for a block of homes in Southeast Baltimore, theirs came late, nearly two years after they were supposed to be delivered. Donald Trump, Joe Biden, Zeke Cohen, Bill Henry. All candidates on the 2020 ballot, but Nick Frazone is just now receiving his. I received my 2020 uh, general election ballot on August 6th, 2022. And so did his neighbors on this block in Highland Town. Nick knew his ballot had gone missing on September 29th, 2020. An informed delivery email notified him that his ballot would be delivered that day. And then it just never came. So then I had to call the Board of Elections and um, then I had to go in person uh, to get a, a uh, replacement. How did this happen? The U.S. Postal Service didn't say. A spokesperson declined our interview request and said on August 5th, a tray of undelivered mail was found in a Baltimore facility. The tray's mail was from year 2020 and contained what appeared to be 26 blank ballots mailed from the Baltimore City Board of Election to addresses with a Baltimore zip code. Those mail pieces were delivered Saturday, August 6th. It would have been nice if they would have contacted us so that voters would not have been confused. Baltimore City Election Director Armstead Jones learned about the mishap from some of those voters. And as a part-time postal worker in college, Jones knows mail can sometimes go missing. Individual pieces can be lost. Uh, having a tray lost is a little different story. Uh, has to be sitting somewhere around somebody and somebody needs to look and see what it is. He said the State Board of Elections meets with USPS on a regular basis to discuss any issues and this one will be addressed. And if for some reason you don't receive your mail-in ballot, to contact your local Board of Elections for a status update. If it gets down to the wire, head to a local polling place. They will give you a provisional ballot to fill out and then if we do discover that there is a ballot here from you, then the first one will count. A third of all votes in the primary came from mail-in ballots, proving many voters prefer this convenience. Nick, however, said it's not worth the risk or the wait. You know, it's supposed to be easy to vote this way, but when the post office just misplaces them, we can't. Do you think you'll ever go back to mail-in voting? Uh, probably not. You know, if there's like another pandemic, I, I will get a, a like hazmat suit and I will just go in person. USPS did not say how the tray was discovered or how it was missed, but that it deeply regrets the late delivery of these mail pieces and it's going over processes and procedures with employees ahead of the general to ensure a successful election in November. For WMAR 2 News, I'm Mallory Safaste. Deadline to request a ballot online or by mail is November 1st. If you take out your phone and scan the QR code on your screen, so take you to Mallory's report. There she has a link to request a ballot, plus other important deadlines, including the last day to return it by mail, drop box, or how to check the status of your application. And if you have a matter for Mallory, she wants to hear from you. Email her at Mallory at WMAR.com or find her on Facebook and Twitter.